didn't turn it to the man up. Man now, man now. I didn't turn it to the man up. Man now, man now. I didn't turn it to the man up. Yeah. Yeah. on my jeans, dripping denim on my low buttons. I didn't turn it to the man up. Man now, man now. I didn't turn it to the man up. Man now. I didn't turn it to the man up. Uh, on my jeans, dripping dinner. What's happening, boy? Packing cool kids. It's your boy. See, this is going on. I'm back again with another video. And as you can see, I'm kind of wet, man. I was outside playing with champagne. I threw his freaking toy. And I fell in the freaking pool. I know, right? Some goofy stuff. But I realized that that's not even a bad idea. It's a good idea. So I'm going to swim today. We're going to have us a little fun. And on top of that, we already started the day off great. Somebody. One of the best subscribers in the world, one of the best followers in the world, one of the best fans in the world, whatever you want to call them, one of the best supporters in the world, sent me a breakfast for champions. And I ain't going to say they sent me, they sent me and D-Lo, because it's way too, way, way, way too much for me. Like, wait, wait, what are you saying? You saying I'm big? Like, come on. But no, I don't know who sent it. We're going to look into it. D-Lo, you got to look at the receipt, see if they name on it or something. You know I want to give them a shout out, because this, this costs money. When your subscribers and supporters and followers and fans start sending you money, basically, they deserve to be shouted out, you know? Because everybody don't do that. Everybody asks for shout outs. Everybody asking for pictures. But how many people going in their pockets giving me something? You know, I do that. I give y'all things. But a lot of people don't give me anything. Not that I want anything. I'm just saying, it feels great to be getting something. I'm a grateful person. I've been telling y'all, if you give me something, you're going to see that I'm grateful. So whoever you are that sent me this breakfast, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Lucia. Lucia? And one say this. Is they number on her? Uh, we don't care. We're going to get in on that. Hold on. Oh, Louisa. Oh, Louisa. That's Louisa where, T. That Lucia, hey, man. you know who you are, though. You send me all this. Come on, D-Lo. Help me out, bro. Open this up. We got pancakes. What's under there? Sausages? So we got a pancake and sausage meal. Man, they sent this for the whole family. What the? Oh, no. They sent different things just in case. Pancake and eggs. I wonder if they worked at Denny's. Is this Denny's? Ah, this ah, I wonder if they work it out. Then yeah, this pancakes and hash browns, chicken strips, and macaroni. <laughs> Hold on, what's in here? Some salt, probably some seasoning, some syrup, more pancakes. I'm telling you, this is the breakfast of champions. They got churros. Churros, bro. They bought the whole menu, bro. Somebody bought the whole menu. Lu Luis, you are the goat. Like you. Oh my God, is it ice cream? Oh, that's butter. That's the ice cream right there. Look, man, y'all don't got supporters like me. I'm telling you, my supporters go above and beyond, especially this one right here. Louisa, thank you. Appreciate you. I wouldn't be nothing without you and people like you. You guys are the reason why I'm doing this consistently and why I won't stop, why I can't stop. Because I would have been stopped. Because a lot of people hate on me and I don't even, I don't like bad energy. But it's this good energy right here that keeps me motivated. And I'm telling you, it also keeps me full. I'm about to be eating for like the next two hours. But, hey, it wasn't even paid for. I didn't have to pay for it. So I'm grateful more than that. I'm ecstatic. This is exciting. Like my life is, is lit. How many of you guys can say you woke up to this much free food? I'm not saying you guys ain't getting free food. I don't want to say that. But how many of you can say that you woke up to this much free food? This is crazy. Like, they act like I got a whole party over here. Matter of fact, D-Lo, we need to have a party. You my secretary, hook it up, man. Get some people over here. I'm not going to waste this food. They paid for this. Somebody needs to come help me eat this. We got ice cream. We got about 12 pancakes, probably more. Churros, chicken strips, eggs. You know I don't eat eggs. Bacon, and I know that's turkey bacon, and hash browns. Look, I don't eat pork. For those of y'all that's ordering me food, I don't. Let me show them something else. I don't know if I recorded this or not. Another fan, supporter, subscriber, follower, send me this. Like, this is crazy, right? A bottle of Moet. Seriously. That stuff ain't cheap, man. I bought them myself, but don't worry about them. This. This was crazy. They sent it to us through a champagne service, too. Yeah, I never even heard of that. So what I want you guys to know is... When you do good things, good things happen to you. I've always done great things. I've always, look, I don't want to be a self-proclaimed, you know what I'm saying, person that's always saying what he does. But you guys, sometimes you miss out on the things that I do because you don't got Instagram or you weren't watching that day or you skipped through the video. So I have to tell you guys, yeah, I'm a philanthropist. I give things away. I love giving things away. On top of all of that, it comes back to me anyway. So the universe is a revolving circle. What you put out, expect for it to come back. If you're always being negative, trust me, negative things are going to happen. Look, I started dissing all these YouTubers. My house got airballed, paintball, whatever. My dog passed away. That's negative, all right? You can't say that your dog dying was good. It wasn't good. It was negative. So that is when I realized I needed to slow down just a little bit on the trolling because trolling can ruin your life. 
Like, look at 6ix9ine. He trolls a lot, but he also went to jail, and everybody called him a rat. Nobody really liked him. So that negative energy being put out there, it comes back full circle. So I want to become what I always became. I want to be a positive individual, a positive role model for you guys watching. Kids, teenagers, and adults, I don't care who you are, what you are, what color you are. I want you guys to be positive, and I want you to say you got that from CJ. So cool. If not me, from somebody. Be positive, all right? Now, another thing I want to talk about. I look at my mentions now. I used to didn't look at them, but now I see it. A lot of people took offense to me saying, I'm the GOAT of YouTube, the black greatest of all time YouTuber. Let me tell you something. If you don't think highly of yourself, who will? If I'm on YouTube talking about, I ain't nothing. I'm at the bottom of the totem pole, and there's a list of YouTubers better than me. And guess what? I don't even value my own self. I'm not that person. I value myself and I know my worth and I don't care what anyone else thinks about them. That's them. That's for them to do. I want everybody to say they're the best. I want everybody to say they're the GOAT. But no matter what, I'm saying I'm the GOAT. You don't like it? That's cool. I don't really care. That's your opinion. But my opinion is my opinion. You can't take that away from me. So all the mentions I'm getting or all these other YouTubers, that's cool. But to me, none of that matters. I'm who I am. The G O A to the T. Now let's eat some food. As y'all can see, uh, champagne killing D Lo. Uh, uh, uh. Go get it, boy. Go get it. See, that's how I fell in the pool. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Come here, baby. Baby. Give me that bottle, boy. Go get it, champagne. It's windy. I think it's only windy out there. Yeah, once I came on here, it's not that windy. That's weird though. Champ! What's up, champ? Champagne! Ew, he just peed. I'm done with you, bro. I'm so done with you. Yeah, go get your toy. Go get your toy. All right, guys, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already saw me jump in the pool. But, you didn't see me swimming. This is late. Y'all know, I never really swim. Actually, the last time I swam on camera was when I hit 8 million subscribers and I jumped in with my Fendi on. So now, I'm just doing, Fendi? Yeah, I don't know. Designer outfit, designer shoes, everything. That's what I did for 8 million. Was that hard to do? No. Or was that crazy? You heard D-Lo's voice, right? Exactly. Now, we finna have some fun today, you know. I wish I had my GoPro. Matter of fact, D-Lo, we gotta get a GoPro. So next time I swim, we can go underwater with CJ So Cool. Yeah. Right dude. now, y'all just watch me have a little fun. Oh! Now, lucky you could swim, because if you had, if you was drowning, you would be in trouble. I can't drown. Because I can't swim. Yes, sir. Oh. So how do it feel having your own pool like this? You know, no kids, no PP. <laughs> it feels great, bro. I feel rich, by Like with the whole family. I love my family, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know that. But this is a whole nother feeling. It's like, I love myself now, you know? Instead of me loving everybody, now I, I can give myself some love. I never was able to do that. I criticized myself. I gave more to everyone else than what I gave to myself. Even though you guys see my jewelry, my shoes, my closet, my cars, I don't use those things. Giving to yourself means having fun. So I wasn't able to admit really like, I, I couldn't surprise myself with birthday parties or with, with whatever. Now, I just woke up today and surprised myself with swimming. I've never did that before, so you know that. So, thank you, Dilo, for asking that question. It feels amazing. But I don't want Royalty and them to look at it like, oh, you dancing us again? Every time I say something about Royalty, she gets so mad, y'all. I don't understand. I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm just telling the truth and speaking my mind. This feels amazing, and I've never been single in my life. And so I've never got to enjoy myself. I'm always trying to please other people and make sure they're having fun. And if they're not doing the same for me, then when am I going to have fun? That being said, this is lit, bro. I probably won't ever be in another relationship again. Woo! OK, uh, I don't think that's why I was going with it, but all right. Wait, so this whole time you knew how to swim, but I don't know how to swim. Well, I was in the Navy. No, it's easy, bro. Yeah, that's what they say until I almost drowned about six times. Yeah, when you live, grow up in the hood, if you can't swim, you will drown. No one's gonna save you, Warsaw. 
because the public pools I used to go to, everybody can swim. So I had to learn. I was at them same pools though. You weren't getting drowned? I drowned twice. The, I'm saying, was kids trying to drown you? Oh, no, no, yeah. no, no. It was like that. So I had to learn the hard way. It made me a better person. I joined the Navy, that made me a better swimmer. I haven't even swimmed in years. Like on my party, everybody was swimming. Did you see me swim? You was there, D-Lo. I was in there too. The camera, y'all was there. D-Lo swam, see what I'm saying? I'm used to making sure everybody else having fun. What about me? Nobody says, hey CJ, you having fun? I never heard nobody say that. So now, I just take care of myself. I got the subscribers feeding me. I got this big pool. New basketball course I'm gonna be hooping on. I can jump on my chill. Let's, let's, let's show them. Let's show them what I can do now. Even though I just hit my knee. Ah. <laughs> ah. That's gonna hurt later on. I can use all my stuff. Yes, sir. Woo. Let me do a backflip. You know my leg hurts. <laughs> oh, there it is. See? <laughs> and that's why I put the net up. I haven't did a flip in a long time. Says my boy Leon. Yeah. Yeah. Show y'all. It's so cool. New life. This is my new life, man. Yeah. yeah. Sir. I still don't see how you can walk on this ground with those feet. <laughs> with those feet. With those feet. <laughs> Ain't no way. Back in the day, my ancestors, you know, this is all they had was feet. You right. One no shoes. So I ain't gonna act like I'm better than them. Come on, man. This is my life. Ah! That's your knee. Freak! No wonder I never had fun. <laughs> fun comes with consequences. <sighs> Look at Champagne looking at me like, you good? <laughs> It's really, really, really high. You go to the hospital. <laughs> All right, man. From breakfast to the pool, to the trampoline, to the basketball court, to the gym. Ugh. Look, man. When you guys grow up, don't rush into a relationship. Because if I knew that life was this fun being single, I probably would have never been in a relationship. <sighs> Take care of yourself. Then you can have room to take care of others. Never put others above yourself. Because when you die, you're going to be alone. When you're born, you're alone. Woo! Now I guess what I'm about to do. I'm about to get my... Ah! Your knee fix? That too, I gotta get my hair done. See if we can get a massage over here, bro. I'm a masseuse. Got you. Cause you know what? This ain't right. Something don't feel right. I hit my knee on the concrete coming out the pool. But other than that, my life's still fun and lit. I don't want you to think that a little pain is <laughs> discouraging. All right, guys, you saw me jump in the pool like a fool. And now, with the chlorine being in my hair, I had to take it down. Get my girl Kiara over here to wash my hair. And not only that, but give me some dreads. I know, right? So random. I'm tired of the braids. I'm going back to my dreads, man. Now I'll stay tuned for that. But somebody just rang my doorbell, and I can smell it. It smells like freaking food, bro. You know what time it is. It's lunch hour. Let's go eat. <sighs> I don't know what to say, man. I like this. I love it. But it's a little bit creepy that y'all keep doing this. And I didn't ask for this. What you do? Somebody named this Louisa again. She I don't even know her Instagram. She buying all this food for me, bro. D-Lo. Find Louisa. Find out who she is. Look in your DM. She probably in your request, man. Let's 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 thank them. Let's tag them. They doing a lot. Yeah, she's spending a bag. She got roasted chicken. This is the cheesecake factory. This is the second time I had cheesecake factory. Good morning guys, D-Lo is not here and this is what I got delivered to me for breakfast again. I think it's the same guy. I didn't even look at the receipt today because only one person is doing this. This man right here keep buying me food. I don't even eat AHA, but today I, I did a little dibble and dab. I cut it in half, ate it. 
The IHOP got GMO in it, man. I ain't even trying to diss IHOP, but they food make you full before you even eat it. And I, I, ain't, I ain't a fan of eating churros for breakfast. So it's a lot of options in here. Chicken fingers, french fries, that's nasty. You know, IHOP is a pancake place, so I don't know who would eat french fries in my IHOP. Disgusting. Chicken strips look old. I'm telling you, I don't want you wasting your money, bro, because my garbage is filled with IHOP now. And I don't want you to keep doing this, man. So please, I appreciate the gesture. You're cool as heck, man. You you definitely a part of the So Cool fam, bro. All right, we love you. But this is this is unnecessary, man. I can't even freaking stuff it in my garbage. My garbage is so full. I gotta wait on the dumpster to pick it up so I can put this in there, man. But yeah, definitely, definitely not a good idea to keep doing this. I know this costs a lot. And I'm, I can't eat all this, bro. I got no family. They left me. Like, I don't know. But people probably think it's a prank. Let me see. There's no pranks, man. I'm literally lonely, all right? There's no one hiding in here. Reality now is gone, all right? Just how I looked when Kamari left, exactly. There's nothing, man. The twins, stuff still clogging up Nation's room. Nation ain't in here. So who am I gonna share all this with? I have no idea. There's no one, man. Look, I got Leon room with a nice little cover. d load didn't even fix this, man. It's been blinking there since I plugged it in. I do not know what's wrong with that, but I think Leon broke that before he left. What the freak, bro? Power wasted for no reason. But nah, the gas, the gas, the gas to stop. Cause I don't want to be the reason that anybody out here talking about, oh, I went broke buying CJ food. <laughs> you know I can get my own self food. And that's, that's just crazy because even though I don't leave and I don't look like the type of person that go get myself food, I will go get some food if I'm really hungry. I got cereal in there, pop tarts in there. I got, you know, a whole list of things. Got my little boosie noodles, you know. I've been eating, I've been eating a lot of junk food, I ain't gonna lie. But IHOP is probably worse than the junk food I've been eating. So, you don't gotta do that no more, my boy. Yesterday, when I hit my knee, I was in so much pain, I couldn't even record no more. And on top of that, I had to sit down for eight hours straight and get my hair twisted. Now, Kiara is a bomb hairstylist. I love her work ethic. But she takes so freaking long, man. Like, who the freak, bruh? Who takes eight hours to do one head? That's a long, long time. And she be doing my hair the whole time. So it's like, man, I don't know if I need to find a new petition. I need to put her on a time limit. I don't know. Oh, also, I wanted to get my tips uh, blind. Royalty and Royalty Mom was always hating on me when I said, like, oh, I want to get my blind tips or whatever. They're like, you better not do that. That's this, that's that. Plus, your hair going to fall out. I'm like, listen. I'm cutting it at 10 mil anyway, and as you guys can see, we getting real close to nine mil, so, I mean, it's only up from here. I'm gonna be cutting my hair eventually, so it doesn't matter what happens to it. I'm trying to make myself look a little bit different. I'm trying to rebrand myself, you know? So, that being said, if this video gets 100,000 likes, I'm gonna get my hair blonde, and we're gonna see how I look with that. Not the whole hair, not on no future little dirt type stuff. I'm talking just the tips and T-Pain type stuff, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna see what it look like. That's that. Also. My knee feels better today. So I know a lot of you probably gonna be like, oh my God, let me send him a car, get well soon. I'm good. Yesterday it was hurting, but today I'm a little bit better. Do I feel like going out there and swimming again? Nope. It was fun though, but I'm not messing up my hair one and I'm not cracking my knee on that concrete. That backflip, I gotta see that when I edit this video. But like I said, my boy D-Lo is gone, man. He was gonna handle his business. I'm just here alone. I don't know what I can do. Besides, play with my boy Champagne. Hey, Champagne. Where your toys at? Where your freaking toys at, huh, boy? Where your toys at, huh? Oh, I found one. Your favorite toy right here. Come on. Champagne. You love that, y'all. Oh, they got the other one. This is a, a subscriber bought this one for Champagne. He got the little. <laughs> look, he dropped that fans. Little lazy butt. You tired today? You tired, big boy? Y'all see that tail? That's a happy tail. Come on, come on, go get it. Come here, champagne. Come here. Come here, monster. Come here, boy. Hey, baby, baby. Wow. So you just gonna do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or not, but you should if you're not, because that's why I post a lot of updates in real time. But I said I'm apologizing in advance for doing something crazy. I'm finna do something really crazy today. And like I said on Instagram, some of y'all gonna love it, some of y'all gonna like it, a lot of y'all gonna hate it. 
I just gotta let y'all know right now what it is, though, you know? I don't know how to say it, man. I'm scared. You guys the one that did this to me. I, I'm not the one that did this. I know I said if I get this amount of likes, then I'm doing it. And you guys have the opportunity to not like the video. But you guys did. Not only did you like it, you surpassed what I asked for. So, that being said, I have to be a man of my word and do exactly what I promised I would do. And it's because you guys want to see it. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Um, I'm flying my baby mama out here today, man. Yeah, it's crazy, right? I told y'all if I get 100K likes, I was going to do it. Now I got to start asking for like 500K likes or something like that. Because I don't know, man. This is probably going to mess up my, my family uh, co-parenting way worse than what it is. But why I came up with the idea is because royalty don't be answering, man. I be calling royalty a lot trying to talk to the kids. She does answer. I know I'm not going to say she don't answer at all. But like today, I called her 10 times. She ain't answer at all. So I was like, you know what? I'm flying my baby mom out here. Not so that we can do anything or rekindle our relationship, but so that I can actually do an interview with her and talk to her about everything that's happened over the last nine years. Our kid is nine years, and I wasn't there for about seven and a half of those years. So it's a lot of things that I never got to tell her, a lot of things I never got to hear from her, and a lot of things that Kamari probably wants to see settled. And since I've been online squashing beef with all these YouTubers, like, like look, I wanted to beat Funny Mike head in, right? That's easy, light work. I want to beat DDG head in, light work. I want to beat Chris Sales head in, super light work. All these YouTubers, right, I squashed the beef with them, or even if I didn't, I don't even care. I gotta squash the beef with my baby mama. Even though I don't even consider us beefing, it's just a lot of things that were said online that we never squashed. She used to call me all kind of names, like she called me a clown. She said, I, I entertain kids for a living and that's some clown stuff. Look, I told you, I'm different, I'm positive. I'm positive all the time. Even if you see me crying and people hating on me, oh, boo-hoo, CJ cry baby. Guess what? It doesn't affect me. I'm still going to be positive. Even though people say, oh, you flex too much, you stunt too much. Guess what? It doesn't matter. I'm still going to be positive. Even though people say, oh, man, you ain't nothing but a cheater. Guess what? I'm still going to be positive. It doesn't really matter to me. We all living in the Matrix, all right? Except only difference is I know we're living in the Matrix. So I only care about what I care about. And the people that don't care about me, why would I care about them? But... That being said, I gotta talk to my baby mama in person so you guys can see it all. And she's coming here today. Not because I wanted her to, but because you guys wanted her to. Y'all got it to like 100,000 followers. You got the video to over 100,000 likes. The video got a million views plus. So you guys obviously wanna see something. So I'm gonna provide that for you. Her and Kamari are on their way right now. I bought the ticket, I bought them their hotel, and I'ma get them an Uber, and they're gonna come over here. Are we gonna spend the night or do anything freaky? No, never. She just had a kid. I think her kid ain't even one yet. I know it ain't one yet. So, it ain't nothing like that, but us being a family, we should at least be able to come together and make a video. So, is this gonna hurt some people's feelings? Probably. Is Rosie gonna be way more upset than she already is? Definitely. But do I care? No, I have to keep grinding. I have to keep doing what's best for me. And right now, what's best for me is giving my subscribers what they want to see. Now, if CJ and Cordea, they're going to have to see me. It's the same situation that happened with Kamari. When I left Gary, I didn't see Kamari or talk to Kamari for years. Next thing you know, she's all in my life. So eventually, your kid gets older. You know, yes, you're going to hurt missing those years of their life. But the main thing is to be there to provide for them. As long as I'm providing for them, I'm really there, even if I don't get to see them, especially I'm going to get to see my kids because Royalty's a YouTuber and hopefully she gets, she gets it on grind soon and she start back posting videos so I can see my kids. Because the other day she dropped them off over here, y'all seen it. It was super fun. I had so much fun with him. But I didn't even know she was coming. And that was like the last time I really talked to her. So I don't know. We got to, well, I know. She went through my dresser. She saw some condoms. They got her a little irritated. I don't know why. She the one that dumped me. You know, so when she dumped me, I felt like the first thing I need to do was protect myself. I already got guns. I got security systems and locks on my doors. Why not get some protection? Just in case I just decide to do a little intercourse. Not saying that I have because I'm not moving fast like that. But what's the point of not having it? So... I mean, Royalty can be mad or she won't. I'm going to be protective of myself. I don't know what she's doing. I didn't go to her mom's uh, apartment and go through her dresser. Royalty could be out being a thought. I don't know. You know what? I, I don't even care because she left me. So I, I don't own her. She doesn't own me. She's her own person. I'm my own person. I told Royalty these things, too. I said, look, I can't get mad at you for anything you do. Royalty done already been to the club twice. Her friends had already called and told me. She said she wasn't me and no thought, but you know, the fact still remains that she went to the club. I haven't even been to the club. I'm the one that's lit. So if she can go to the club, I can put condoms in my dressing. 
If she can go to the club, I can tell my baby mama to come out here. If she can go to the club, I can do a video of my baby mama and my daughter. That's why Kamari's coming too. Because I want Kamari to see this. Like, if you can't show your kids things like this, then you ain't showing them nothing. Showing your kids how to actually be a real father by co-parenting for real, but besides the co-parenting thing, how to squash beef and how to learn how to talk and communicate. I'm a communicator. That's why y'all see me so much. I like to talk. I'm good at what I do. A lot of people hold in their feelings and their emotions. Not me. If I'm sad, I'm going to cry. If I'm mad, I'm going to cuss. If I'm happy, you going to know. Like, it just doesn't matter to me. I'm going to do what I want to do because it's my life to live and no one else's. And when I die, I'm not going to be like, man, I should have did what I really wanted to do. No, I'm going to do what I really want to do because you only got one life to live. And I want you guys to be the same. Now, there's one more thing I want to address because a lot of people are mentioning me in this. And it's funny. Stop telling me that I'm not the GOAT of black YouTubers because you like another YouTuber. First of all, if you like another YouTuber, what are you doing on my Instagram? That's weird, right? A lot of people take time out of their day to tell me I suck and I'm trash and I'm a crybaby and I'm scary, all these things, but they're on my page telling me this. So I just soak up all the energy and I just release it with videos. So you're gonna keep giving me energy and I'm gonna keep putting out videos. I just had to tell y'all that but right now, Somebody just pulled up to my house. I swear, man. I can hear it. I hear real good, bro. I got military ears, military nose. Oh, it's the garbage, man. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Here's the dumpster. Look, y'all thought I was capping. I can't even fit those Denny things in my garbage because I so much. Look at my neighbor's garbage. Look at my garbage. Terrible, right? Dang. That's not even a... What the... It's not a dumpster. It's a big truck. Lunas, wow. But yeah, man, D-Lo still hasn't paid. Man, thanks a lot, D-Lo. How you gonna forget to paint the freaking stucco that you put up there? Jeez, man, these dudes really messed up my house, man. Bogus, bro. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Oh, first of all, I already opened this box because it's for my people, OWNXN. And you know what? Best brand out, man. Not even gonna lie. I know y'all see me wearing Fashion Nova. I like Fashion Nova. I make it look like designer. But this, this doesn't look like designer. This is some streetwear right here. OWMXN, the best ever. And you know I'm back with them. It's been a while since I actually promoted them, but that's some different stuff. But now we back, baby. We are back. And I just definitely hit my camera with the box. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to show y'all, man. I said I was going to get some chain nets. And my boy Mark Gonzalez, he bought them from Amazon. And that's crazy. Is this one or two? I think this one. I gotta buy one more then, because you only got me one, and I got two new courts. But thank you so much, Mr. Gonzalez. I'm telling y'all, I have the best fans in the world. Whatever they want to go by, the best supporters in the world, the best subscribers in the world, the best followers in the world, the best fans. Ugh. And of course, I'm the best YouTuber in the world. You can't tell me I'm not, because you don't like me. That's like me telling myself I'm not handsome, because <laughs> you said I was ugly. Ooh. So we got some Michael Mary, Michael Mary. Huh? Yes, sir. That's some beast pop smoke. You know, I'm still keeping it alive. Wait, what is this? Some type of telegram or something? Hold on, huh? They got a package like this. Boy, there better not be no anthrax in there. This is what I go through, man. When I'm alone, I gotta do it all by myself. Where Jaleel and them at when I need them, man? They was my best helpers when it came to box opening time. Let me make sure I ain't throwing on the way, because when I was in, uh, when I was in, oh, yeah, I was definitely gonna throw this away. Oh, that ain't nothing. When I was out of town, I went shopping in Dior store, posted some nice pictures of the stuff, and then I threw it away on accident. That was weird, right? Hurt my feelings to the point where I was literally about to cry. Oh, okay. Nice little shirt. Something light. I wonder if you got something on the back. Okay, nice little Miri drip. Wrinkled, but you know, maybe I can ask D-Lo if he can take it to the cleaners and they can iron it for me. Cause I'm not good at ironing y'all, cause we have to take the iron, but yeah, man. Nice little Miri shirt. Got my OWMXN drip. Make sure y'all tune in to my Instagram, man. I just promoted something crazy. 100 spots only for this. And this is like a subscription only thing where you get all the drip in one month. You pay 60 a month. I don't know if it's a month, I forgot. But whatever, you pay 60 in June 1st your stuff gets put in. They're already creating all the merch right now. It's like basically you paying for you paying for a little bit and getting a lot. That's what it's about. So yeah, that's that. This is this. 
And right now, I gotta get ready to end this video, edit this video, take a shower, get ready for my baby mama and my kid to come. Cause it's finna go crazy. I'm telling y'all, the internet finna go crazy. I'm finna break the net. That's what I'm good at. I'm good at breaking the net. So y'all gonna see, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I love you guys so much if you're still watching this video to the end. Cause only the goats can make it to the end of my video. A lot of people, they not goats. But yeah, we out, man. I love you guys so much. Peace. My school kids go. Uh, 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 u